In this video, we will show flow verification and quality control for spirometry on MGC Diagnostics Pulmonary Function Systems using Ascent software. Before performing quality control procedures, ensure the calibration syringe is leak-free. Extend the piston of the syringe, cover the open end of the syringe with your hand, inject the piston, and inspect for leaks. Disregard any effort analysis messages that may appear during syringe testing, since efforts are not physiologic. Prior to performing any quality control on your system, you should calibrate or verify the flow sensor. The ATS ERS guidelines recommend a daily volume verification using a three liter syringe cycled at least three times to give a range of flows varying between 0.5 and 12 liters per second. From the Ascent main menu, select the calibration menu item and verify that the environmental values are correct. Next, select the Flow tab and click the Verify radio button. With the flow sensor connected to the three liter calibration syringe, have the syringe plunger pushed in all the way. The flow verification and calibration graph has three colored zones, representing slow, medium, and fast syringe strokes. All three zones must be met before passing verification or calibration. There is no requirement as to the order of the strokes. Select the start button at the top of the screen to begin. When the screen displays withdraw, pull the syringe plunger all the way out. The screen will then display inject. Push the syringe plunger all the way in. Perform the syringe withdraw and injection three times, momentarily pausing between each stroke. Vary the speed of the strokes to cover the three flow zones. Remember that the order you perform the strokes slow, medium, or fast does not matter. If a zone is not hit, the software will have you continue until all zones are covered. When all three strokes are complete, the software will indicate whether or not the verification has passed. If flow verification has passed, click the exit calibration button on the bottom right of the screen to save the calibration. If flow verification did not pass, the software will have you perform a flow calibration to realign the gain factors. The first time performing a syringe QC, a new subject must be entered. Future syringe QC visits should be added to this subject so that QC trending can occur. From the Ascent home screen, select the Add Patient icon. Click on the Settings wheel and then select Syringe BTPS Off in the Patient Type drop-down menu. This will turn off BTPS corrections and be used for spirometry, DLCO, and nitrogen washout testing. Only the ID and name need to be entered. For ID, you may want to use the system serial number or name for tracking purposes. Next, click the Save and Create Patient Visit button. From the Patient Visit screen, click on the Begin Testing button. This will take you to the FVC testing screen. Perform five to seven FVC efforts, varying the speed of each effort. Perform slow, medium, and fast FVCs to cover the flow range that the patients will achieve. Disregard any error messages that are displayed. Once all efforts have been performed, verify that the measured values are within specifications.
The 2019 ATS ERS spirometry guidelines state that spirometric equipment must have a maximum permissible error of plus or minus 2.5% plus 0.5% for the syringe when testing with a 3 liter calibration syringe. Based on this, verify that the FECs measured with your system are between 2.91 and 3.09 liters. If your values are outside this range, recalibrate your system and perform additional FEC testing. Thank you for watching this video. Information on quality control can be found in the MGC Diagnostics Product Bulletin, part number 140255-001. To obtain a copy of this bulletin, or if you have any questions on quality control, contact our Technical Support Department at 1-800-333-4137. Or email us at support at mgcdiagnostics.com.